el señor Walter Mercado. Walter Mercado. Walter Mercado. Hi, everyone. Um, congratulations on the success of this film already. We're seeing tremendous outpour of support from all over. What is that like for you to see it be so well received already? It's wild. I mean, I think it's, you know, a dream come true for all of us. We've been trying to make this film now for three years. Um, the first time we had a conversation about it was three years ago. And we thought it was going to be much easier to make. And we found out that, you know, without a lot of Latino executives in the rooms of Hollywood, of the people with money, with the people with power, we... Um, <laughs> we had a lot of trouble raising money and, and convincing them that really this story needed to be told that Walter was this important. They would say, you know, like he seems like a great character, but, but how do we know that he is what you say he is? And so it wasn't until we started pitching to companies that had Latinos in the room that we started getting offers. And so I think the, there's been a social media outpouring that I think none of us expected. Um, and just just showing how important he is, is has been really changed our worlds, I think. And and also been, uh, has felt like a bit of justice, like we were right. And and um, I just hope that there can be more, more of these stories. You know, the Latino community is more than just immigration and the border and narcos. We have so many stories that don't fit squarely into our box. So we hope that maybe this can help um, open up the conversation about what other Latino stories needed to be told. There are hundreds of documentaries out there that need to be, that stories that need to be told by our community. Absolutely, I, I couldn't agree more. Um, Kareem, when you were making the film and talking about making the film, did you, were you, did you anticipate that it would have such a huge impact? I mean, we're talking 190 countries and 30 different languages. Were you, did you know that that was, you know, what, how this would play out? Uh, I mean, I was hopeful. I think we all were hopeful that it would reach a very wide audience, but you never know. You know, you kind of go into this blind. Uh, what what I think we all knew is that Walter was wonderful. As far as a, a character for a documentary, uh, you know, we, we joked that it was ours to mess up because he is so endlessly watchable, so endlessly lovable and lovely uh, that it really was our, uh, our job to just, tell the story in a way that was interesting and creative and that did justice to not only Walter, but I think to the, his viewers. Um, but, you know, it's the, the reach it's having is beyond their wildest dream. It's also why we were so excited to be working with Netflix, uh, because we knew that the fact that by going on Netflix, we were going to be able to reach 190 countries, 31 languages. You know, as Latinos, we've had Walter as part of our culture and our lives for 50 plus years. Uh, it's high time that we got to share him with the rest of the world. So it's 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 really, really thrilling. We, we've been looking at like the posters from different countries that have been made and you're like, oh my gosh, it's Walter in Arabic and Korean and Japanese and Mandarin. Um, he has a message of love and peace and unity and now the whole world gets to hear it. And at a moment, I think that the world really needs it. Shout out to you for making that happen for all of us. Um, really. So Walter Mercado, as you mentioned, is such an icon in the Latino community, but as you mentioned in the film, he only ever focused on the good. Walk, walking into this project, were you aware of all the complexities surrounding him and his persona and just everything that he's been through? Um, and how did you make sure that you did him justice in encompassing all of that? And of course, his grand, grandiose, grandioseness at the, at the end. Alex, we can go ahead and start with you. I think, you know, they say never meet your heroes, right? And so I think going into it, there was a little bit of like trepidation where we were like, uh oh, like, what if the guy from Abuelitas TV is like not cool at all, you know? <laughs> um, luckily, his character and who we came to find out uh, or meet it was a very loving, uh, authentic person. We were aware, though, that not every decision that Walter made in his life was a great decision. Right. And we were pretty clear from the get go that what we were, we were not making a, a commercial for Walter. We were making a documentary about his life, the good and the bad. And so we try to touch on that in the film. Uh, I think that the reality is what we find is that the, the impact, the positive impact that he made on everyday people's lives far outweighed ultimately uh, the bad decisions that he made. Um, and that's at least the conclusion that we, we were led to draw. 
Okay. Um, now, can you just do me one last favor and strike your best Walter Mercado pose? Uh, amazing. I love it. Thank you so much for your time and congratulations again on the success of your film. I'm a huge fan of the three of you already. Thank you. Oh, thank you. It's very sweet. We appreciate it. La razón de todo. El amor es el alfa y el omega. El amor es la razón de vivir.